Hello friends, welcome to my channel Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss about characteristics. What should be the characteristics of genetic material? So first is, it must, genetic material must contain complex information. So the genetic material must be capable of storing large amount of information. All the information related to instructions of all the traits, all the functions, all the reactions that are occurring inside a body. So it must be capable of storing all type of information related to that organism. So first is contain complex information. Second is genetic material must replicate phase plan. So it must have the capacity to replicate accurately. Why? Because during cell division, there is a need of equal distribution of genetic material in daughter cell. So if it will divide accurately, it will replicate accurately, then it will distribute its genetic material in daughter cells accurately and exactly the same. So this is second. Third is must encode phenotype. Genetic material must code for a phenotype or you can say trait. So it must code for a trait. For example, trait may be eye color, maybe hair color, skin color, many other trait, height. So it must code for a trait. And genetic material, you know that our genetic material is DNA. How DNA code for trait? DNA code for a RNA, then RNA forms protein. And this protein causes a trait. So third is must encode a phenotype. And the fourth one and the last one is must have capacity to change. Genetic material must have the capacity to change. You can say that to mutate. So that if genetic material changes with time, so it generates variety at a genetic level. And this variety, this variation is beneficial for the organism to adapt in changing environment. So these are four characteristics of genetic material. First is must contain complex information, must replicate faithfully, must encode for phenotype and have the capacity to change. 